Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another tutorial on your favorite YouTube channel, The Power of Excel. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about four more functions under the date time category, namely the workday function, the network days function, the workday.intl function, and the network day.intl function. So the workday function is used to return the date after a given number of workdays after excluding weekends, that is Saturdays and Sundays, and some holidays as mentioned in a list. Similarly, the network days function returns the net working days between two dates after excluding the weekends, that is Saturdays and Sundays and holidays. Workday.intl function and the network days.intl function are two variants of the functions mentioned above and basically is used in case we want to customize the weekends. So the weekend customization can be done with the help of the table given below. As you can see, we have a parameter called as weekend number, which we can change to customize our weekends. For example, if we have the value as one or it is omitted, then the weekend days are supposedly Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, in case we put it as two, it becomes Sundays and Mondays. And let's say we want to have only Sunday as the weekend day and we want to work six days a week that is from Monday till Saturday then we can put the value as 11 as mentioned here. So that is the customization we can do with the help of workday.intl and networkdays.intl functions in case you're looking at calculating the end date or let's say the duration in terms of the number of work days we have between two dates. So coming to the demonstrations for uh, uh, these functions um, the first demonstration would include uh, the use of the workday and the workday.intl function. And the calculation we have, or the example we have created over here, includes the project start date, which is 1st of November 2022. And the number of workdays are also given to us, that is 128. Now, if you want to find out the project end date in this particular case, um, ideally, uh, we could have simply added the number uh, that is 128 to the date to get the value, but that will not give us the correct value because we have not excluded uh, the weekends and we have not excluded uh, the public holidays. So uh, let me perform that calculation just to showcase that this value is not the correct one. That is, uh, we'll add uh, 128 to the date that is 1st of November 2022 to get uh, the project end date without the use of the function. But this is not the correct one since we have not excluded uh, the holidays which are given on the right hand side as well as we have not excluded the weekends as well. Because normally we work five days a week that is Monday to Friday. So to find out that project end date given uh, that constraint uh, of working five days a week, Saturday, Sunday as holidays, and a few other public holidays also. Uh, we can make use of the workday function, uh, which takes three parameters, as you can see in the dialog box in front of you. Uh, the start date, this is my start date. Uh, I'll enter the end date now, I'm sorry, the number of days, that is 128 and holidays i'll take it uh, from the list given on the right hand side which i've named as public holidays underscore one so once i click okay i i get uh, the end date as 8th of may 2023 after excluding uh, the public holidays and the weekends that is saturdays and sundays now let's say i want to customize this and i only want Sunday as the weekend, I'm working six days a week. There can be a case of expediting a particular project given it is, let's say it's lagging behind a bit and the project manager decides that, okay, we need to actually step up and we need to work six days a week. So then we can make use of uh, the workday.intl function. Which takes uh, four parameters uh, the start date number of days, the weekend. So the weekend uh, for making Sunday as the only weekend day, uh, we'll put the value 11 as explained earlier. 
and holidays i'll take it from this particular list quickly once you click okay you get the value as uh, 7th of april 2023 uh, in case we are having only sunday as the weekend day so that is for the workday and the workday.intl function now coming to uh, the network days function and the network days.intl function uh, so let's say we are given the project start date 1st of november 2022 and the project end date that is 23rd of april 2023 and we want to find out the number of uh, days or the number of working days uh, considering that we have uh, uh, we are working five days a week and saturday sundays are holidays and we have a few working uh, other public holidays also so that can be done with the help of the network days function but if we just want to calculate the number of days which is not again the right value here um, so that we can simply do by subtracting um, the end date uh, minus the start date this gives us the value as 173 that is the number of days between these two dates without considering any kind of holidays and, or weekends so that is something we are not including here and uh, the number of work days have to be uh, uh, calculated uh, considering that we are working uh, uh, five days a week and saturdays and sundays are holidays and there are a few other holidays also we'll put the start date here We'll put the end date here and uh, we'll put the holidays which are named as uh, public holidays underscore two. So I get the number of work days as 118. This is assuming we are working five days a week, uh, no Saturdays and Sundays, and uh, there are a few other holidays also. And can, again, we, let's say if you want to customize this and we want to say that, okay, uh, we have uh, our project is lagging behind and we want to work six days a week and we want to find out the number of working days now so we can make use of the network days dot intl function which has the start takes the start date and uh, the end date and uh, the weekend so we can even select from this particular list so if you want sunday as a weekend so i'll select this that is 11 and holidays which gives us the value 142. Now let's say I want to calculate the Sundays or the number of Saturdays on which I have worked. I can easily do that by subtracting uh, the network days uh, uh, calculation, the value that I got from the network days function from the network days.intl function to get the number of Saturdays or the number of Sundays on which, uh, number of Saturdays on which we have worked. So if we do that, that is 142 minus 118. Uh, this gives us the value 24. That is, we have worked on 24 Saturdays or 24. We have total 24 Sundays between these two. This in this duration. Let me put Saturday also over here. Uh, so that is as far as the demonstrations are concerned. Uh, coming to the applications of these uh, four functions. Uh, so as already demonstrated, uh, these four functions have a lot of utility uh, in the area of project management whenever we want to calculate a duration or uh, let's say uh, I want to calculate the end date given the number of working days. So I can make use of the network days, network days.intl, workday and workday.intl functions. All these four functions can be used. Um, also in daytime calculations when weekends need to be customized, for example, I'm working six days a week. I want Sunday as the only weekend day or let's say on Monday as the only weekend day, or let's say I want to have Tuesday and Wednesday as the weekend day, okay, which is a very specific scenario uh, in case of certain kinds of projects. Uh, then I can make use of the workday.intl and the networkdays.intl functions. So very, very useful in that particular respect. Uh, now coming to, uh, let's say I want to have some, I have some date uh, time calculations when a list of public holidays have been, have to be excluded from the calculations. Um, so all these four functions, which we have uh, discussed and demonstrated can be used in that particular scenario. Also in case the number of weekends or the weekend days, uh, need to be calculated, 
um, as I've demonstrated in demonstration two a few minutes back, uh, we can make use of all these four functions. Uh, in terms of alternatives for these functions, uh, so we can do uh, these calculations manually also by subtracting dates or adding days to a given date if possible. Uh, but that is not very effective uh, considering that we will not be able to remove holidays and weekends that easily and the calculations becomes really complicated. Also, some functions such as days, days 360 and year frac can be used in this particular case. But again, uh, the customization and uh, uh, the calculation becomes a bit tricky because we'll have to perform a lot of steps in order to reach the output which we have got uh, in just a couple of steps in this particular case. So those are the specific alternatives. Uh, now coming to the question of the week contest, which we started a few days back. And the question I had asked was, let's say there are two sheets which contains list of overlapping employees. And I want to find out uh, the list of employees which are there in one and not there in the other. Uh, so which function uh, can be used in such a scenario. So there are multiple alternatives to do it. We have certain functions and we also have certain kinds of tools. But since we have concentrated on the functions alone, uh, so there are two possible functions which we can use here. We can use the VLOOKUP function and we can make use of the index and match function or the match function also alone can uh, serve the purpose. Uh, all these three functions uh, can be used um, uh, along with uh, uh, in combination with the is na function to handle any kind of errors if it is if they come up so those are the specific answers to this question so the winner of the question of the week contest is miss sonali bhalla congratulations sonali well done and a gift voucher from amazon is coming your way really soon if you have enjoyed watching our videos please do not hesitate to like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel it has been an awesome experience keeping you updated with the latest what is happening in the world of Microsoft Excel. And we have already reached uh, more than 300 subscribers in a few days time. So thank you once again. Keep blessing us and have a great day. Thank you.